Hi, I'm Tom from Sweet Maria's and I'm pretending I just received this 20 pound order from myself and uh, and my 20 pounds of coffee is in this new bag called the Troy Seal, which is made by Ecotact. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this um, bag and how you might want to approach opening this and resealing it. But first I want to tell you why you got your coffee in this bag. Well, we are very concerned about the fact that the coffee we send you and the coffee we review is the coffee you're actually drinking six months down the line. So people who order these large sizes, you know, tend to have this coffee a while and we want to make sure you're storing it under optimal circumstances. Now, years and years ago, we used to say, oh, keep it in cloth, keep it in jute, let the coffee breathe. Well, that's not true. And for the last 10 years, Sweet Maria's has been importing nearly all of its coffee in a material that's just like this Troy Seal bag, which is a high barrier liner that goes inside the jute package. So we want you to be storing the coffee in the same way we do to maintain its freshness and optimal cup flavors for as long as possible. So let's talk about this in particular. So you get the, the Troy Seal bag and the idea with this is that it's reusable and you can reseal this bag. This bag was developed by Ecotact, who makes bags for cocoa and grains and other products too. But this is specifically for coffee and the thing they were trying to overcome was the fact that a zip type seal won't work on a bag this large. It will be compromised. It just can't stand up to the strength of the coffee pushing against it, especially in transit. And nobody wants their bag to open. So they came up with these strips that open up, you peel off the foil, and then you reseal it. It's an adhesive strip, but each one can only seal one time. Since there's three, that's where the name comes from. So we ship this in a box that's fitted to it. And you might notice that when it comes, in order to pack it effectively, we might have taped it. So there might be a couple pieces of tape, like here and here. Those can simply be cut off carefully or removed. I'll just snip them. Now, as I said, this, this seal, once it's been used, is not reusable. So this top seal has been used by us. So you're gonna have to cut this bag to open it up and get to your coffee. But first I wanna ask you, what are you gonna do with your green coffee? Now, are you gonna have this coffee for six months? Are you gonna have it for three months? Are you gonna take a little out and then seal it up and put it away for a while? Well, in that case, if you're gonna seal it up and keep it, let's say for three months, maybe you wanna use the, the second seal here. But if you're gonna take a little out and you're gonna keep taking a little out each week, maybe what you wanna do is just cut off a small corner here. So as you can see, there's a line here where you can cut, but I wanna tell you something. Cut a little bit below, fold this down, cut a little bit below this line. It literally says cut here to open and I'm telling you, cut a little bit below it. Now, if you're gonna be taking a little out each week, why not just open it as much as you need to? And I'll show you why, is if you take some coffee out, you're given, you still have an incredible amount of material here to fold over and seal shut. Now I use these clips that I bought. Those are just from Home Depot. And since this side's not been cut, I don't really have to worry about it. You can also use some large binder clips. Now I tried this out, cutting out the whole thing. I folded it down, I took out about 10 pounds, I folded it and rolled it down, and I found, I filled it with water and it doesn't leak. So I assume that means that we have a good air seal. Anyway, this 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 solution will let you not have to deal with these until you really want to store the coffee a long time, or extends the usability of the bag. But let's say you want to take out 10 pounds and keep it around now for, oh, let's say three months without disturbing it. Well, in that case, go ahead and cut the whole thing open. And as I said, I cut below that mark because what I'm going to do when you go to reseal a Troy seal, 
you need to get it nice and flat here. You peel off your uh, adhesive protector layer. Is folded over and because I cut it lower I can then fold it over on itself and seal it from one side to the other now I've got a very strong seal there <laughs> 